Hey, did you speak to Mary? Yeah, she's... she's great. She's great. Well, I mean, what do you think? Yeah, she's so easygoing. She's so down to earth. She's just such a go-getter, don't you think? Yeah, I... yeah, I... I yeah, she's... she's great. Do you ever get tongue-tied in English and you feel like the guy in that example? Well, don't worry, because today we're going to learn some idioms that can really help you describe people in a positive way. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So the first one we have in today's video is the idiom down to earth. He's such a great guy. He's really down to earth. So what do we mean by down to earth? Well, if a person is down to earth, it means that they are practical and sensible. Jane's always talking to people at the cafe. Everyone likes her. She's really down to earth. So as I mentioned, this is a really good idiom to use. Instead of saying someone is friendly and sensible, you can say they're really down to earth. The next idiom I want to teach you guys is also very common in English and it is simply a good egg. Now, this is a great way to say that someone is a nice and reliable person. By reliable, I mean someone that you can trust to do something for you. Hey, have you seen Tim recently? Ah, uh, you know Tim, always busy. Yeah, I suppose you're right, but he's a good egg. He'd do anything for you. Reminds me, I'll have to give him a call soon. Next time you find yourself in a situation like this one, Try using a good egg instead of the adjective nice. It's always good in English to try and vary your language and with these idioms you can really do that. Just remember that this idiom only works when describing a person. For example, you wouldn't describe a nice situation as a good egg. Ready to move on guys? Let's get to the next one. Now you might have heard variations of this next idiom used in a couple of ways. For example, let's take a look at the verb lie back. Now, lie back is a phrasal verb, which means to move from a sitting position to a position in which you are lying flat on a surface. We often lie back when we want to relax. When she wants to relax on the beach, she lies back on the towel. If you take that image of relaxation, it will really help you with this idiom. So if you describe someone as laid back, it means that they are relaxed and free of any stress or problems. Hey man, how's it going? Yeah, really well, thank you. I just wanted to check up. How was the date? Oh man, it was amazing. She was really nice and easy to talk to, super laid back. Now I think if I were to pick a person who I think is laid back, it would be the American actor Tom Hanks. He always seems very friendly and relaxed in interviews that I've seen. He seems like he could be just a normal kind of guy, like a mate. So moving on super quickly, I just wanted to tell you guys another idiom that you can use in the same way as laid back. And this one is easy going. Hey man, how was your first day? Ah, uh, well, you know, I was super nervous to start with. But then when I got into work, the team was so easy going and the boss was just so friendly and really laid back. It really put my nerves at ease and helped me get on with the day. Can't wait to go back tomorrow, actually. I'm really looking forward to it. So just remember, if a person is laid back or easygoing, it's someone who is friendly and relaxed. So as you guys know, I think that Tom Hanks is a laid back celebrity. Now it's time for you guys to have a go. Maybe you've met a celebrity and you were really surprised how laid back and easygoing they were. Or maybe you've seen a celebrity on TV and they come across as really, really laid back. Well, why not tell me about it down in the comment section below? The next idiom is exactly like it sounds. If somebody is a people person, it means that they are good with people. Someone who is always going out and is very sociable, for example. So what makes you suitable for this role? Well, I think I'm really hardworking. I'm good with people. In fact, I'd say I'm a people person and I always try and do my best. It's time to check out the next idiom, and I'm really sure it's going to brighten up your day. Bright spark. Now, you can use this idiom if you want to express that someone is very intelligent or witty. But wait, I know what you're thinking. I know clever. 
I know intelligent, but witty? So witty is an adjective that we can use when we want to describe someone who is both funny and clever at the same time. Jane fancied Tom when she first met him. Not only did she find him really, really attractive, but she also thought he was really witty and had a great sense of humour. Now this next idiom is quite interesting because I've covered a lot of idioms that are related to it in another video that you can watch right here. Smart cookie. Now a smart cookie is a clever person who makes good decisions. Let's take a look at this example from the American sitcom Big Bang Theory. Uh, we know that Newton was a really smart cookie. In this clip, Penny is referring to the mathematician and physicist Isaac Newton, who is widely recognised as one of the greatest scientists of all time. So just remember that a smart cookie is someone who is intelligent and makes good decisions. Natural born. Natural born musician. Natural born footballer. Natural born teacher. Natural born chef. The list goes on. So if you refer to someone as a natural born something, it means that that person is able to do something well immediately or the very first time. Jane's parents realised from a very early age that she was a natural born singer. In other words, she found singing incredibly easy and it was an ability that perhaps she was born with. It's like saying that a person is born with an ability and is able to do it without practice. We might say that Mozart was a natural born pianist, for example, or Eric Clapton was a natural born guitarist. So the last idiom we're going to look at today is one that you can use to describe someone who works really hard and is determined to succeed. And this idiom is simply a go-getter. Hey, did you see John at work today? It was crazy, right? Yeah, but he's always working so hard. He's such a go-getter. You know, I think I saw him really late the other night, about nine o'clock, and he was just leaving the office. Remember that this one means when someone is hardworking, energetic, and eager to improve. Do you ever get tongue-tied? Hey man, how are you doing? Yeah, good, thank you.